What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode with my buddy Braxton today. Y'all have seen him in a few videos before and uh, I'm not gonna lie, we've already been hunting for probably three hours. It's 11.30 and we're going to the last resort. Can't call a coyote. Well, he missed a coyote early in the day, early in the evening and uh, we haven't been able to call anything up. Haven't been able to find any pigs so I'm doing what you asked for. We're gonna see if we can't go find a skunk. I got my Air Force Air Gun 25, and uh, we're gonna go see if we can't put a stock on a skunk. I heard that if you make a heart shot, they won't spray. If you shoot them in the head, they'll spray every time. So we're gonna put that theory to the test, see if we can't go find a skunk, and then uh, I guess I'm gonna take it home, clean it up, and cook it up. But if I kill a skunk and clean it, I promise you I'll do a video on how to preserve the hide because that is one cool hide to keep and uh, hang on the wall. Not too many people have a skunk skin hanging on their wall. So we're gonna get after it, see if we can't find a skunk, and uh, I guess y'all see it if I do shoot a skunk. Take a long shot and missed. Filming? Yeah. It's still moving. Can't make up my mind if I can smell it or not. We'll get on that downwind side, I promise you'll be able to. Right there, right there, right there. Come here, come here, come here. Kind of brick, boy. Oh god. All right. Let's go walk up to this bad boy. See what happens. Dude, you see him fall over? Yeah, that's weird. How much even more? Oh, I smell it now. Ooh, boy. That ain't the one, Chief. Yup. Oh. That stinks, man. It really ain't that bad, honestly. Like, I'm not sure if he sprayed or not. I mean, I can definitely smell it, but it's not like insane. Cool. Well, let's take him back to the truck, and uh, I guess I'm eating skunk for dinner. What do you do at 1:15 in the morning in Texas? That's right. You go to Whataburger. If you're from Texas, you know that if it's this late in the night, you ain't going home without stopping at Whataburger. Got to get me some breakfast. Can I get two honey butter chicken biscuits with cheese? Two honey butter chicken biscuits, what else for you? Uh, can you add cheese on those? Add cheese on them? Yeah, and then a medium Coke. I'm telling you, y'all probably think I'm crazy, but you have to get cheese on a honey butter chicken biscuit from Whataburger. It is the bomb. Not only do you have to get cheese, you have to get spicy ketchup and put it on top of that. But I'm gonna ask a really awkward question and see if they have any gloves, because I don't feel like going to Walmart and I don't have any gloves at the house. And I really don't want to clean this skunk without gloves, so uh I really hope they have some, but if they don't, I guess I'm just gonna deal with the stench on my hands. 
What's up, man? Is How's it going? You doing okay? Yep. How are you? Good, man. I'm doing okay. Appreciate it. Hey, do y'all have any gloves? Gloves? Yeah, like latex gloves? Uh, not latex, but I got a couple. Like, just any gloves will work. Yeah. What Can size? I, uh, large. Just two? Yes. Yeah, just two. Okay. <laughs> he's freaking out. Like, that's, he's probably wondering why I want gloves. Appreciate it. I'm going to give you these. But you, I'm gonna give you a survey. Just let up put put all the high scores on there. Okay. There a skunk go. sprayed the bed of my truck, so I gotta go clean it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Keep, I got you an extra pair too. Appreciate it. For sure. Heck yes. We scored at Waterburger. Shout out to Waterburger. Mullet Man's newest sponsor. Oh. I was supposed to fill out that survey. Oh well. I'll see you guys at the house. It's one in the morning, and I'm about to be cleaning a skunk. All right, guys, here goes nothing. Oh, boy. Got my Whataburger gloves. Big shout out to Owata B supplying the gloves for this video. Oh, man, I already ripped them. Oh, and there you have it, folks. <laughs> oh. It really doesn't stink that bad. I mean, okay. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to do a separate video on how to clean a skunk because uh, surely that would get demonetized. So I will, bleeding a little bit, I will uh, post the link to cleaning the skunk in the description. Make sure y'all go check it out and uh, I'll see you as soon as I'm done doing this. All right, so I have disposed of the skunk. You better get over there and um, watch the little video that I put in the description because I got sprayed and I smell awful. I'm glad the guy at Whataburger gave me two pair of gloves because I need them. Oh. I can't even describe the stench that I'm smelling right now. I can't even put on a glove. I can't think straight. It literally made me want to pass out there for a second. It was so strong. It was just like hit you in the face. You don't know what hit you. Until you look up and see a skunk's butt in your face. Oh, anyway, I got two front shoulders. And uh, that's pretty much all the meat that, that was on there. I wasn't touching the back end of that skunk again. So uh, this is our clean skunk skin that I will show y'all a video on how to tan this hide. I'm gonna pack it up, roll it up just like that, go put it in the deep freezer and um, take this meat inside, put it in some water and it's like 2.30 right now in the morning. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm cleaning this up see how it tastes what's up everybody I'm back my arm I'm not even kidding you still smells like straight-up skunk I took a shower last night as soon as I got done filming and I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed so y'all leave it in the comments if y'all have a recipe to get that stench away I mean ugh, that is terrible so what I got got the uh, got potatoes falling everywhere is what I got the two front legs of that skunk I got some potatoes. I got my cast iron skillet over here heating up. So what I'm going to do is um, just sear it in the uh, cast iron skillet and then I'm going to put it in the oven and make sure it cooks uh, as long as I can. I'm not sure if skunks carry trigonosis or not, but uh, just to be safe, I'm going to cook it pretty much as long as possible. Um, see if I can break down the meat a little bit by putting it in the oven. But I uh, got some mini potatoes, different colored potatoes. I'm going to cut those in half add them in the cast iron skillet when it goes in the oven and um, just add a little more flavor and we're just going to dust off the curd glitter so I'm going to cut these potatoes up and then uh, we'll show you all how um, we're just going to sear it and then we'll stick it in the oven. So all you clock haters out there, I fix my clock. Our power, I live out in the country so our power, for some reason they've been working on the lines like for a long time and the power goes out like probably once a week so that's why it just always changes and uh, I just never flip it back. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this butter in the cast iron. 
let that let that melt. Down. Take the uh, two front legs, dust them off with some crater glitter. Both sides of them. Now, I want to get this butter hot and uh, just sear these front legs. Go ahead and throw those in. Just like that. So once I get a nice sear on both sides, um, I'm going to add the potatoes and then we'll wrap it in foil, stick it in the um, oven and probably let it cook for a good 45 minutes just to, uh, I want to see if the meat will break down and make it tender because I, I imagine that these are pretty tough animals uh, if you just cook it like it is. Make sure you get the butter, turn that off, we'll take some foil. Trying to do this without burning myself. All right, so I got the oven set to 350. Got the uh, cast iron wrapped in foil. We're just gonna throw her in and uh, let her do her thing. All right, it is the moment of truth. Let's take it out and uh, see what she looks like. All right. Well, I definitely think it's cooked enough. Let's see. All right, our potatoes are done. I'm not too worried about the potatoes, though. They don't look bad at all. I mean, it looks pretty good. So, let's cut off a piece and uh, take a nibble. It actually just kind of just shred. All right. Pretty clean meat. Here goes nothing. First time eating skunk. That is literally like a tender squirrel. It's exactly what that tastes like. Wow, that's crazy. That is not bad at all. Like that's pretty dang good. I'm not gonna lie. That is like almost better than squirrel right there. That is, I'm not gonna go kill skunks just to eat them, but that is not bad at all. If I was surviving, I would definitely have skunks as a food source, a regular food source, because that is super good. I mean, I can't, I guess the closest thing that I can compare that to is squirrel. But it's almost even more, like, less gamey than squirrel. It's just like a super clean, um, tender meat. It, I mean, you can see it's just falling off the bone. You can just peel it right off. Wow. Well, we busted the myth of the skunk. Skunk catch, clean, and cook. Checked off the list. Leave it in the comments what else you guys want to see. Maybe a coyote, maybe a fox. We'll see. Just y'all leave it in the comments. Let me know what you guys want to see. That's going to wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and uh, keep up with the upcoming hunts and fishing trips that I'm gonna be doing. Hunting season's here, so it's hunting from now on. So y'all stay tuned, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.